we keep hearing these questions being asked, not really asked, put forth, pressed upon us. And what happens when you ask someone a question without answering it yourself? All that's left for the recipient is to argue for or against. And um, you're just trying to confuse people when you ask these questions. They're asking why the Stormy Daniels case first with that poor guy. Why not one of these others? And of course, it's going over and over again there. Yeah, there are different cases. They're not working with each other. But let's say there was an answer. Let's say, looking at how excited he is to do a walk and saying, yeah, put the handcuffs behind me. That's cool. You know, that's uh, like a childlike mentality. Someone that has no clue as to what they're really getting into. He, he, he's having fun with it. Good for him. And uh, the thing is, if there were an answer, why this one first? Look at what they're going through to set up his transportation to the courts. Look at what they're going through. He's finding it fun. He's going to be more likely to go along with it because it doesn't really seem like such a big deal. So once they get him for this, this is his mistake. He doesn't see it coming. They've got him in judicial custody. That means the next one can start up. The one that's really going to get him put away. This one might be home house arrest or something. But uh, even before he gets to the house arrest part back in Florida where he thinks people will protect him. Yeah. He's in judicial custody custody of the courts. That's the way I see it. And the next one comes in, that means they don't have to chase him. They've got less of a threat of him just taking off and flying away, which if, if he comes to understand what it's really going to mean and that these people the only people that are really going to stand up for him and fight are the ones that showed up on Monday and Tuesday outside the Manhattan courthouse. You saw how many of them there were. The rest of them are saying, oh, it's a trap. And it's them trying to lure us in, even though it's him telling them to be there. He's saying protest, and they're like, oh, that's a trap. What they've come to understand is that he's not going to help them. It is a trap. They walk in and it's the safety and numbers things. They spend more time putting these guys in jail than bothering with him. That's his, his outlook on it, I suppose. But yeah, there it is. It w would even be wise to start with this one because he thinks it's such a joke. And they'll have him where they want him. And even for an old fat man, when you can't do much running, it's kind of sad when there's nowhere left to run, no way to get there.